Hi, my name is Casey Harvey and I'm 13 years old. Before I was diagnosed with cancer, I played competitive soccer. I was a goalie for an elite soccer team. But on November 17, 2014, I was diagnosed with Rhabdomyosarcoma. sarcoma. It is usually found in areas naturally lacking in skeletal muscles such as the head and neck. Mine was found in my left maxillary sinus after a couple weeks of swelling and pain at the tumor site. It was first just thought just to be a sinus infection, but after a biopsy, the results came back as cancer. My treatment protocol consisted of 42 weeks of chemo and 8 weeks of radiation. Each week, I would come into Radies Oncology Clinic for chemo, and every three weeks, I would be admitted to the inpatient unit for chemo. Although coming in to get chemo wasn't so fun, I was always so excited to come in and see all my amazing nurses, doctors, and Radies staff. I got so close with every one of my nurses, and they made me feel so comfortable. They were always able to calm me down when it came to everything from accessing my port to giving me chemo. They put so much effort, so much of their effort into making me and all the other patients feel so much better. They took care of me when I was sick and entertained me during the long days in clinic and inpatient. I could never thank them enough for everything they've done since I was diagnosed. Another group of people who have made my whole journey and time here at the hospital so much easier are the child life specialists and all the volunteers. The child life specialists visit you when you're in clinic or an inpatient. They check up on you, chat with you, bring you games, movies, and crafts. They are incredible people who make sure you're comfortable, entertained, and happy. Most of the time when I'm sick and an inpatient, I never smile, but one thing that has never failed to turn my frown upside down is a visit from a therapy dog. Before my diagnosis, I knew I, I never knew what it took to be an oncologist. In fact, I never even knew what an oncologist was. But after going through everything I've gone through, I am so amazed and have so much respect for not only my oncologist, but all the oncologists. It must be such a difficult job to remember every little thing about your patient and other doctors' patients. I'm so grateful for all my incredible doctors who have played a major part in saving my life. Although cancer took so much from me, it, also, it has also given me so many new friends. Inside the walls of the oncology floor, I've met other little warriors like myself. Becoming friends with other kids who are going through the same thing is so awesome. I've met other kids not only from this hospital, but from around the country. Tomorrow is actually my final chemo treatment. Although I am so incredibly happy to finish after 42 long weeks, I'm going to miss seeing all my nurses, doctors, and every week. Radies is such an amazing hospital, and without the doctors here, who knows how long it would have been until they found the tumor in my left sinus. This hospital is a one of a kind and it has saved my life and I could never thank everyone here enough for everything they've done. Thank you for listening to my speech. It was such an honor to share my story as well as my amazing experience at Radies with all of you this morning.